Welcome to 10 Minute Tech. We're going to talk about sweet picking today. If you're here, I'm going to assume you at least have some idea what sweet picking is. Sweet picking is using consistent downstrokes or upstrokes across the guitar strings to play arpeggios. So this can be across a, a few strings or across all the strings. What I want to do with this video is just lay the groundwork. Maybe you want to start sweet picking, you're not sure where to start. Maybe you've learned a little bit, it hasn't really worked out nicely for you, it doesn't feel good and you've given up. Maybe you learned it a while ago and you need to refresh your course. Maybe you already know how to do it pretty good and you just want some things to tighten up on those skills. That's what we're gonna get into. So the first thing that for me at least was challenging when I started learning to sweep is actually getting my right hand to be nice and relaxed and just letting the pick fall across the strings. Probably say that a lot in these next few videos when I talk about this. Falling across the strings is what we want our pick to do. It just falls from one string to the next and then it falls from one string to the next on the way back up. It's relaxed. We're not trying to push it through. We're just letting it fall. We're just letting it do its thing. And that's actually going to be our first little exercise to practice. We can do it across all the strings or we can do it across a few of the strings. So we're just going to put a click on, mute the strings with our left hand and let our right hand and our pick fall across the strings one at a time, down and up. So that's our first little exercise. It's dead simple, but it's surprisingly difficult. I'm not a masterful sweet picker. I'm pretty good, you know, I can play pretty quick but I'm not like Jason Richardson, you know? I'm, I'm just trying to make my way in the universe. So that's our first exercise. And the most important thing with this is keeping our right hand consistent and relaxed. So we want all of those notes to be exactly the same distance apart, exactly the same amount of force going through each pluck, which shouldn't be very much. We're just trying to let it fall through, remember. Once you've done that a few times, you can make it a bit interesting. You can just do a few strings at a time, maybe the middle four strings, maybe the top three, maybe the bottom three, maybe whatever. Yeah, that's our next little thing that we're gonna work on. So for example, I'm just gonna do the top three strings because I find myself a lot of the time when I'm playing solos, I will want to put in one of these little, like quick little arpeggios just on the top three strings, this sort of. Something like that. So here's our exercise for that. So once again, we want it to be super consistent and our right hand to be super relaxed. So that's that's one half of the puzzle. Our right hand being able to flow through the strings nice and smooth is super, super important. But obviously we need to do stuff with our left hand as well. We're not gonna win any awards for great guitar solos if we're just going not really a vibe. The next thing we're gonna do is gonna make it a little bit trickier, but I'm sure you can get a hang of it. All we're gonna do is make a very simple shape with our right hand, and then we're gonna sweep pick it. So you're gonna put your first finger on the first fret of your D string, and then your second finger is gonna go on the second fret of your G, third finger on the third fret of your B, and you guessed it, fourth finger on the fourth fret of your E. And we're just gonna go like this. That's it, one note at a time. We want them to be really nice and separate. And then we can come back down as well. So that's our little bit for today. We're just gonna go. But there's a few things to think about with this. We don't want to play a chord. That's not a sweep, right? We just want every note to start as soon as the previous note stops. So once again, we'll put our click on and we'll try to just flow through that shape a few times. If you're still with me, that's great. That's a good start for one week. If you do all that for one week, come back next week. I have some more stuff for you to try. But if you get to that point and that's all feeling pretty easy, I do have a slightly trickier thing that we can work on as well, which is very similar to our last exercise. And I do this one a lot of mornings when I'm just doing my warm-ups. Basically, it's a variation of that last drill. So it starts off exactly the same. So for extra credit, if you wanna push yourself a little bit more, keep making sure that it's fluid and the notes are separate and everything's relaxed and it's really consistent but you can try this one. So the first part of this exercise starts exactly the same. We're just gonna go, you know that one already. But then on the way back down, we're gonna put our first finger on the first fret of our E, 
and then second finger on the second fret of our B, third finger, third fret of the G, fourth finger, fourth fret of the D. It's like tongue twisters up in here. After that, this is where it gets a bit confusing, slide our fourth finger up one fret and go fourth finger on the fifth fret, third finger on the fourth fret, second finger on the third fret, first finger on the second fret. So we put that first bit together, it looks like this. And then when we get to here, we're gonna put our fourth finger up to the fifth fret of our high E and then keep that same shape on the way back down. After that, you slide your first finger up one more fret and then you're back to the start of the pattern but you're two frets higher. So you put the whole thing together, it looks like this. me talking to myself, we should put a metronome on. My metronome's at 120 beats per minute, by the way. I, it, it, there's no reason for that. It's just, that's what logic has and I didn't bother to change it. So let's do this last exercise. So there you have it. If you want to learn to sweep, stick around with me for about a month or so. I'm going to do a video every week and by the end of it, you're going to have some good stuff happening. So the most important thing when you're learning any new skill, regardless of what it is, is consistency. So if you want to do this five minutes a day or less, even if you just picked up your guitar for three minutes a day and you spent one minute doing this, and then one minute doing this, and maybe one minute doing this. And just try to get those three things happening. Three minutes. You got three minutes, everyone's got three minutes. And then next week, when we start doing some more trickier stuff, you will be ready. Your right hand will be loose. It'll be flowing. Your right hand, it'll be smooth. It'll be vibing as well. You'll be nicely in sync. All the notes will be nicely separated. And then we'll be on to do some more tricky stuff. That's it, that's my groundwork for sweeping. Those few exercises. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're just starting out doing this stuff, drop me a comment, let me know how you're going, and uh, come back next week and we'll do some trickier stuff and start getting some actual musical sounding stuff going on instead of just exercises. Meanwhile, if you're watching this and you've got some other exercises that you think I should know about, bang it in the comments, let me know. Maybe it'll get in the video next week where I go, ah, damn, I should have thought of that as well. We'll see, but three minutes a day is all you need. Happy practicing, I'll be back next week.